by Langston Hughes, my buddy. I think he's going to make a side five fraternity. That's what Mr. Elders Corbett was going to make. And he, he began to read, and we began to read the book. He talked about great achievements of people of African-American descent. And then Franklin was discussing it along with David and myself, and we said, why can't we do something great like that? I remember Mrs. Angela Smith, my English teacher at Dudley, James B. Dudley High School in Greensboro, North Carolina, saying to me in the fall of 1958, Blair, she said, of course, that's my birth name, Ezell Alexander Blair, Jr. Blair, she said, I want you to know this poem. I said, what, Mrs. Smith? She said, recite after me. Lives of great men and women, boys and girls, Remind us all that we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints. Leave behind us footprints. Footprints. Where are the footprints? There they are. Am I stepping on? Footprints no. on the sands of time. That is our destiny for every soul is here and to come after us and before us. We have a challenge to make the world better than when we came from our mother's womb. I don't care if your daddy was Caucasian. Papa was a rolling stone. Where he went was his home. And when he died, I think my daddy left me all alone. Yeah. I don't care if he was African, Chinese, Oriental. Native American, or who your mom is, when we come out that womb, we got another chance to be better, mm -hmm. to be good, and to do good. The issue here is not color. It's always been character. How do you spell character? With a K like Kappa. With an <laughs> H like Harold. Holy, holy, holy. With an A like Alpha. All in all, all, right? With an otter like Roe, like my chiropractor, oh huh? yeah. He stepped on my back while that's home. Roe, a rock, the light of the sun. And we all are actors. A like an alpha, always true. C like in character, that's me and you. T like in Thomas, let us not be doubters, all right? O like an original, 360 degrees, perfecting our life on earth as we go into heaven. Ara, like resurrection. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, and she also that believeth in me, though they were dead, yet shall they live. And then he went on to say, and those who are living who believe in me shall never die. So all these ancestors who died before us are living still. And that is why, to answer your question, we were motivated to do what we did. Because we wanted to make a positive change in the almighty United States of America, the Republic of Democratic Capitalism. I say, I say, oh, I love you, America. James Brown, eat your heart out. Oh, sorry. So, so if I can ask you, just yes. tell me, when you, once you walked through When we walked through these doors on Monday, February 1, 1960, we were a little nervous. Now, of course, <clears throat> you look at the fingers on the hand, that tells you where we are in history. Now, which is the little, which is the smallest finger? The pinky. You got it. Which is the, which is the next tallest finger? Index, right? All right. That's Joseph McNeil, the index finger. Jesus saves, okay. You got that? That's why he put the hand, the finger up in the church. Yeah, okay. No, you got two more left, right? Which is the tallest one? That's Frank McCain, Big Daddy Kane. He was the original Big Daddy Kane before the other guy came along. And whose finger is this? Watch it. I'm not making an obscene gesture. <laughs> this, is, this is David Richmond.
So now you have the, the original Greensboro A&T Ford. And who do we represent? I'll let you figure out. On my honor, I would do my best, do my, do my duty, to God, God and my country, to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically fit, mentally awake, and morally straight. Scout oath. That's why we did what we did. When we walked through that door, all those traditions were running through our brains. Now, what color am I? What color do I look like? Anybody drink coffee? <clears throat> yeah. You're pecan brown. Pecan brown, or I say, I'm gingerbread brown. Call the rabbi over here. Come here, rabbi. <laughs> I want to talk with you. Come on over here, brother. <laughs> this is my brother from Russia. He's gone past me. That's the Rocky right there. Anyway, when we walked through that door, we were thinking about all those traditions that have been fed to us. On the outside, we have been called by races and color. But it's the inside, the mind, who we are. You might say that we are genetically the original, the original true Americans. My granddad was a white man. He had sex with my grandma. She had four children by him. How are they going to call them black or white? We were the living ideal of Americanism in the consciousness. Get this, get this what I'm saying. What walked through that door was not for a black, Negro, or colored people. What walked through that door was...